to review the business use case for our business rules activity. We are a national health care provider who wants to offer bulk health insurance discounts to larger organizations that are labeled as potential upsell opportunities containing at least 1,000 employees. We're licensed in four states, and we can offer discounts to companies in these states only. To do this, we're going to replace the decision shapes with one business rule shape, configure a business rule with inputs, conditions, and detailed error messages. We're going to configure the message shape to handle flat file error messaging, and we'll write accepted and rejected documents to disk. I'm going to demonstrate this activity, which is found on pages 4 to 14 of the activity guide. Here in the training account, I'm going to create another folder in Developer 2 and name this Business Rules. And from the process library, going to look here for the Business Rules activity and install. The business rules activity uses a reusable connection that's already in your training account. This came in in Developer One or Boomi Essentials. So we're going to open the disconnector here and choose from the connections folder the work directory. Click OK. Now I'm going to save and run a test of the process. So we can see that different documents met different criteria. But if we look here at the true path, only two documents met all of the criteria here in these decision shapes. We're going to replicate the logic in the decision shape into one business rules shape. I'm going to detach these and, so, and select all of these shapes. Just drag them out of the way here. I'm going to add a business rule shape from the shapes palette. For the profile type, I'll select XML and Salesforce accounts. I'm going to create a new rule, and I'm going to name this valid accounts. Now here at the top with inputs, I'm going to add a field. For the first field, customer type. Other fields that we need to add include number of employees, upsell opportunity, and billing state. Now I've added the inputs so I can set these conditions. I'm going to add a condition. For the customer type, I'm going to set this to 
customer type contains a static value of customer. This way, both customer direct and customer channel will come in through the business rule. I'm going to add another condition here for number of employees. This will be greater than or equal to a static value of 1,000. Next, upsell opportunity. Could be yes or maybe. So I'm going to set this not equal to a static value of no. Now I'm going to add a group for the billing states. The group level operator will be OR. For the billing state, could be California. New York, Illinois, and then our last is Texas. Next, I'm going to configure the error message. But before I do that, I need to add a couple more fields up here in the inputs so that I can bring them in in the error message. So I'm going to add here a field for account name. Next is contact name. And contact email. Now I'll type the error message. And I can insert a value here. So for the first, the following account, I'll enter the account name, is not a valid account. Reach out to the contact name. at the contact email to inquire. All right, the business rule is configured correctly. So I'll click OK. Connect the data process shape to the business rule. And next, what I want to do is to connect the accepted path to the disk move this over a bit. And we want to catch the business rules error message. We're going to do that by adding a message shape. We'll combine documents into one message. I'm going to enter one in curly brackets. And then this will be a document property. Under metadata, we select base business rules result message. I'm 
make sure everything is connected here. And now I can run a test of the process. And here in the accepted path, we see that only two documents were accepted as we hoped. And here in the rejected path, we can take a look. These are the other documents. And if we look at the stop shape, we can see the message that has our business rules error message for each of those accounts combined here into one message. Now it's your turn to complete the activity. It's on pages 4 to 14 of the activity guide.